Hello everyone, Chris here of Pointing for United Peoples TV uh, with another weekly loan update for you. Uh, now, at the weekend it was the final set of fixtures in the Football League. So that's Championship League 1, League 2. And for quite a few of our loan players that means that their loan spell has finished and they're returning to Manchester United. So it's a good time to kind of review how they've done overall. Um, let's start with the goalkeepers, or goalkeeper rather, because uh, Victor Valdez had his loan spell terminated last week. So uh, there's Kieran O'Hara at Morecambe. Now he was on the bench for a 1-1 draw against York City at the weekend. And that means that Morecambe finished 21st in League 2, which is only a couple of places outside the relegation zone. So it was a, it's been a poor season for Morecambe. But it's been a good season for Kieran O'Hara because I'm sure he's learnt an awful lot. He's had a couple of decent spells in the first team. He had a, a bit of a shocker a few weeks ago when Morecambe lost 7-0 at Cambridge, but he'll have learnt from that as well. You know, every goalkeeper needs both good and bad experiences to become even better. So, well done, Kieran O'Hara, and uh, let's see what happens next season. Uh, Tyler Blackett at Celtic. Uh, what? Let's start with the good news. <laughs> Celtic won their fifth successive Scottish Premier League title at the weekend, so well done Celtic. Uh, not that Tyler Blackett was anywhere to be seen. And do you know what? I'm, I'm not even going to stand up for Tyler Blackett anymore. You know, when he, came in, when he broke through into the United First team a couple of seasons ago, I thought, what a good young defender. What a promising young lad this, this, this chap is. You know, he's going he's gonna to be, be some player. You know, if he keeps developing, he's going to be some player. His development has stopped, stalled, frozen. Just there is no development. Uh, he, he literally his his loan spell at Celtic has been an absolute disaster. It's, it's just been a waste of time. They signed him on a season-long loan. I'm amazed they didn't terminate it halfway through this through, halfway through the season. He's done absolutely nothing for them. If you're a good young player, he, sh he should be at least I I. I would have thought that he, was, he would be first team or at least on the bench. I never thought in a million years that he wouldn't even get in their reserve squad. But that's how badly he must be playing at the minute. So Tyler Blackett, he's going to come back to Manchester United. And in my opinion, he's, he hasn't got a future at all. It is clear that he's not put any, any effort into his loan spell. It's clear that he's not given his all for Celtic. It's clear that he doesn't really want to be there, that he doesn't really care. And if you don't care or put effort in as a professional footballer, I don't care what team you play for, you're not going to win people over. You're not going to win your manager over, you're not going to win the fans over. And he... Let's move on, let's move on. I, I, I can't be doing it, Tyler. He's pissed me off so much as Tyler Blackett this season. That, ugh, anyway. Let's move on to Nick Powell. Uh, Hull City. Now he he's back at Manchester United now, but he's on our treatment table effectively because he had that fine injury a few weeks ago that ruled him out for the rest of the season. And it's really sad because I like Nick Powell. I think Nick Powell's got tremendous ability and potential to be a really really good midfield player. I mean, look how Danny Drinkwater's done at Leicester City. I think Nick Powell could reach Drinkwater's level. He just needs to stay fit. I mean, he's always injured, and it's a real shame for him. So, does Nick Powell has, have a future at Manchester United? I, I'd love to hear what you think. Um, let's move on to our two players, two strikers, who are both vying for promotion with their respective clubs. and doing a pretty good job of it as well is it, at the moment. We have uh, Ashley Fletcher at Barnsley. Now, Barnsley needed a good result on the final day of the season against Wigan away. Now, Wigan are already promoted from League One. So that means that Barnsley had to go to a team that were flying high in League One away and get a good result to get in the playoffs. Fletcher started and Barnsley won 4-1. They didn't just win, they smashed Wigan. And that means that they're in the playoff places and they're going to be playing third place Warsaw. So you have the two games, first leg, second leg and then the final playoff and it's the same across all the three divisions. So good luck Barnsley. Um, James Wilson at Brighton. Now, Brighton had a huge game at the weekend. It was basically a playoff final before the playoffs. It was winner goes up, Brighton against Middlesbrough. 
and it finished 1-1. So that meant that Middlesbrough went up. Uh, James Wilson came off the bench at half-time. It, it meant that Brighton got back into it a little, but it wasn't enough. So that means Brighton have to settle for the playoffs. And, that, and, and in the playoffs, they're going to be playing Sheffield Wednesday. So, fingers crossed for James Wilson and Brighton. I, I hope they do well. Like the video, subscribe to United People's TV, and leave your comments below. You know, who's going to get promoted out of Fletch or Wilson? Will they both get promoted? You know, what do you think of Tyler Blackett? What do you think his future is? In football, not just at Manchester United, but in football. I'd be really interested to find out what, you, what your thoughts are. See you later.